Apologies to our uh, Muslim viewers, this episode is probably not for you. Super harams, bro. Welcome to another episode of Food Finders. Today we are going to do a pakote episode, but not just any pakote. We are gonna do Malaysian style pakote, darker herbal pakote that uh, we are gonna try. So instead of butterflies, eh? Right, so Bakute is from uh, Klang. Our cameraman is also from Malaysia. Dean, do you prefer Malaysia style or Singapore style Bakute? Of course, Malaysia style. Of course, Malaysia. Hey, actually, me also. I prefer Malaysia style, like, honestly. <laughs> Trailer! It's bright and early, and we are going to go to our first spot of the day for Malaysian style Bakute. Let's go! Roll animation. Rolls. Check. Rolls. Check. Rolls. So we're gonna go find our first herbal pakute spots. Feng Xiang Pakute, Feng Xiang has a few outlets in Singapore. I believe this is the fourth. I think one unique thing for the Malaysia style pakute right, is the dry pakute, which is not very common. Feng Xiang also has one very unique item, which is the bowl. Fried porridge. Although this episode is about bakute, but like you just needed to shout out the fried porridge also. Can I get one herbal bakute soup one? Then can I get the bakute dry sliced fish fried porridge? Sliced fish fried porridge. Yeah. Okay, so this uh, first spot we have Feng Xiang Bakute. As mentioned, one unique thing is really the not just the herbal bakute, right, but the dry bakute. Singapore version does not have a dry bakute, but apparently this is quite common in Klang. According to the owner, fried porridge is uh, quite famous there. Uh, they have a few different flavors like got pork and abalone and whatever. We are going to have a lot of pork today, so I did not order pork. I ordered the sliced fish one, so we have a bit of seafood. You're not damn jealous, yeah. Keep eating pork. Apologies to our uh, Muslim viewers. This episode is probably not for you. Super harams, bro. Haram! They cook the porridge and the dry pakote in this giant wok uh, with a lot of fire. So you get this wok hay. So I love that there is that very intense wok hay flavor. The the texture of the porridge is also a bit silky, like Cantonese so If I'm not wrong, there's, there's uh, shreds of cuttlefish in this though. I think this enhances the, the savouriness of the whole chow. So it's very, very hearty, super savoury for like a like rainy day. Like this will be like superb. Next, we need to try the highlight, lah, right? Uh, okay, I like that the pork is a mix. So there's a mix of meats. There's a uh, lean meat, you have tau pork, you have stomach, ribs, it's very tripe lah, if I'm not wrong. Okay, let's go. Okay, so first up, soup. Very nice anise flavour with the herbs. So it's like a bit sweet. The flavour is quite prominent here. You know, the soup is pretty savoury as well. But it's not like overly oily also. So pretty good balance. Okay, let's try the meat. Mm, okay, alright. Fall off the bone. Very good. If I can feel it with a chopstick, this passes the fall off the bone test. Okay, let's try the lean pork. It tastes a bit like they tenderized it. Uh, so most probably they tenderized or they marinated it like, to like kind of break down the structure a bit. So I like that all the meats are pretty tender. It's a sign that they didn't like overcook it, right? Uh, nothing super fancy, but it's still quite different. But like, these are all the elements of like a, a good like Malaysian style herbal pakote. So that's pretty good. We're gonna try the dry pakote next. Okay, so first thing I noticed is the cuttlefish. When you dry things out, right, the flavor gets concentrated into the whatever you are drying, lah, right? So they use that to flavor the dry bakute and uh, if I'm not wrong there's some in the porridge as well so this adds a bit more umami if I'm not wrong they added like chili party as well there is also ladies fingers looks like they mix the meat also so there's like well it's so dark I can't even I can't tell what's inside there I think the meat should be quite similar with the soup version but they fry it uh, with cuttlefish, chilli, uh, you get the dark sauce so there's a subtle sweetness to the sauce uh, but I think the cuttlefish really like gives it that power there. Uh, let's see if it has the same like sort of the wok hay. Okay, up front this is slightly tough. I prefer the soup and the fried bari. Dry bari here. Yeah. I don't really get like any wok hay flavour also in the dry bagote but the porridge definitely is like wok hay! My nose. No one, no one. Super unique, very different from the normal bagote I eat. Okay, these two, I think, this one. 
Meh, have the minus points for the dry one. I'll probably give it four, I guess. Flavor's not as robust. Oh, so that's it for here. We're gonna go find our next herbal Malaysian pakote smoke transition. Okay, so we are now here in Amokyo and we are gonna try Hongqi clay pot herbal pakote. Let's go! Our pakote is here. So I like that they actually cook it in a clay pot. So it comes with different parts of pork. La. So there is the meat. Uh, this looks like some kind of rib, liver also. So there's like innards uh, and then comes with tau pork as well. It looks quite promising. Let's give it a go. Oh, such a comforting bowl of soup. I like that because there's liver in this one. It makes the soup richer also. More depth than normal. Uh, black sauce with chili. I think this is quite standard. The soup is really good. The herbal flavour is not super heavy. I'm going to try the meat. La. So hopefully the meat is tender. Important point is the meat is not tough. La. So yeah, I think this one's like the spare rib or something. Um, it's pretty good. It like slides off the bone. Normally, I don't really like liver, but you know, for the sake of experimentation, uh, gotta eat some liver, bruh. Ah, okay, even though I hate liver, but like, this one's a bit overcooked from my knowledge of how good liver should be like. Yeah, so it's slightly tough, like, you can see there's not much pinkness left in the liver. I want to comment if the liver could be uh, not so overcooked, like. I think they need to time it a bit better, like. maybe like, I will add the liver like last minute or something. Not a fan of liver, but if I were a fan of liver, uh, this wouldn't be that good also. Okay, but liver aside, uh, the rest of it is pretty fine, it's all quite good. Uh, the soup is really hearty. There's like different options at the shop, so you can add different uh, ingredients also, like extra things to the soup if you want. I've been coming to Hong Chi for quite a while, this is not my first time here, uh, and it's, it's consistently quite good. Like. And the price is pretty okay also, it's like $6 for uh, the standard bowl. Uh, video intern Eugene trying the soup. Not bad, I think the whole bowl could be more. I will give Hong Chi a 4 upon 5. Okay, and that is it for Hong Chi. Okay, transition, next next place. The Singapore style bakote, right? Which is the white one. It's mostly pepper la. I think some places will add this uh, star anise also. There's not much herbs. La. The base is like from the pork, the pork bone. La. Then there is the Malaysian style pakote, which is what this episode is on. The origins of this come from Klang. Actually, the first time I tried it well, a lot of years ago. La. But I also tried it in Malaysia first. Then I think in recent years, more and more Malaysia style herbal bakute is starting to appear in Singapore. So yeah, I think a few years back, it's not that common. La. Maybe like there's a few, but now there's like quite a lot more. Interesting for us to, to do an episode just on like herbal bakute also. Because I do like the Malaysian style herbal bakute more than Singapore style. Because there's a lot more depth la, and flavour due to the herbs. Singapore is quite boring. La. It's like pepper very heavy pepper taste then like bok then that's it la. but you know even the Malaysian one has like more ingredients also so in Balestia there's actually like a lot of bakute stores for some reason this one is uh, Dean's recommendation a lot of Malaysians that like this place right that tastes very authentic so we found it it is Xia Ping Klang Bakute So we're gonna order normal one 990 according to the Malaysians on our team. Dry bakute is actually quite normal in Malaysia uh, but it's not as common in Singapore so I'm gonna try that as well. Okay so the bakute is here. Uh, we got the soup and the dry. What's that smell yeah? Is it salted fish? I thought it smelled like salted fish but it's actually dried cuttlefish uh, based on the menu. Also this is actually quite unique. I think that adds a lot of uh, flavour into the dried bakote. Then for the soup one, you know, you can actually smell the, the burn, like the burn pot. You cook it in a burn pan! Uh, which I can only assume like they use a very big fire to fire up the bakote in the clay pot. So when it comes, it's like bubbling also. Interestingly, they have uh, this pigtail. So the zhu wei is not common for a lot of bakote places. Okay, so you have the two way, you have the intestine, uh, you have the pork, of course. Okay, so in terms of ingredients, it's actually quite generous. Like, there's a lot more meat uh, in this pakote. So, 9.90, but okay lah, more generous, I guess. The herbalness is 
a lot stronger in this one, I feel. The, the anise flavour is quite prominent. La. Sour, bitter, herbal flavour. They do use a fair amount of herbs in their soup, so kudos for that. Okay, you know what, let's try the ta chan first. So the intestine, right, a lot of places they don't clean it very well. So you get a lot of the powdery things inside the intestine, which I assume is shit, right? But this one is good, cause like you don't get any of that. So I really like the, the intestines here. Oh, okay. I think we have to try the, the pigtail. Mm. It's very gelatinous. It's a bit like pork strotter, right? Where there's a lot of collagen. So I really like the texture of this. I'm gonna try the dry bag there. The sauce is some kind of dark sauce, soy sauce. Mix la. The ingredients are very similar, so it's like pork belly as well, got some spare ribs. The dried cuttlefish really adds a lot of flavour inside, and you can actually smell the concentration of flavours inside. Is this cuttlefish or is this stomach? Okay, this one tastes like cuttlefish though. Okay, so there's actually quite a big piece. There's a subtle sweetness to the dry version. Yeah, I think the hei jiang or tian jiang is like, it mixes really well. A lot of aromatic inside, onion, you got your scallions, you know, you got the whole, the dried cuttlefish really, I think is a very big factor in making this a very good dish. Okay, so, yeah, the meats are good, so it's not like tough or what. Wow, the sun can roll yummy. So the pork belly is, they rendered the fat really well, so the fat is soft, right? When you don't cook the fat enough, right, it becomes, it's still very hard, la, or like, it's very tough. Uh, but for here, they render it very well. That means they cooked it down, uh, but without, like, you know, completely melting the fat. So this, like, has a very good balance. The, the pork belly just melts in your mouth, so it's, like, super good. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to give Japanese a five. I think this is uh, really good. Like, you have the whole authentic, dry version. Price is a bit more expensive, but I think the meats, they make up with it. Um, there's a lot more meats and it is a restaurant environment. La. Got seat, got aircon, you know. Nice variety also, you get like the pork tail and stuff like that. The soup is a little bit better. The dry bagote is also very, very unique. The sauce is very nice. Malaysian approved, Singaporean approved. Still another five stars for Jiaping. On to the next spot, let's go transition. Okay, so we are at Gelang and this is Liangqi, Klang Pak Kutte. It's a very locked up coffee shop, la, honestly. <laughs> so you can see there's a, a fan that is blowing water. <laughs> uh, we ordered the soup Pak Kutte and the dry one. So this one was $8.80 for the soup. Uh, the dry one is actually more expensive though. This is $12. But I really like the smell of this. I, like, uh, let me just dig through what's in the dry one first. What's this? Uh? I think it's cuttlefish. Eh? So this is dried cuttlefish. This one also has dried cuttlefish. Sunny got one lady finger, they're not that random. But it's not a mix of meats, it's mostly uh, the spare, spare ribs and various cuts of pork. Mm, but it's very siang and oh they added chili for this one. So I like that there's like, like you know just eating the, the cuttlefish a bit like there's a bit of chili flavor. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but the sauce is like pretty thick. So back to the soup, we're gonna try the soup one first. Uh, again, the soup also looks a lot thicker. Like as mentioned, there is a fair amount of fat that is rendered in this. La. So there is no alternate parts like intestine or stomach. So this is just pork, like some tau ki. That's it, yeah, it's just pork. It's just pork tau ki. that's it, there's nothing else. So we're gonna try the soup first. It looks super dense, bro. The herb blend is quite different from the rest. It almost tastes like, I don't know man, there's this creamy sweetness. It feels quite close to um, mutton soup actually, like herbal mutton soup. It's a very unique flavour compared to the, the other spots so far. Yeah, so I'm not sure what, what's the blend of herb they use, but like it's very different. Okay, we're gonna try the meats as well. Okay, okay I'm just trying to peel off the meat. Okay, fine, fine, it peels off. It peels off from the bone. So not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so here we have a piece of pork. Might be boring lah, it's just, just pork lah. There's no different types of cut, you know. Okay, soft, soft, very soft. Uh, the, the meat is soft though, so that's great. And you can see like how brown it is, like it really like soaked up the herbalness. It's different, but I don't know, I, I'm not super into this soup. I like the body, like it's quite dense. But the flavour like, mmm, mmm. I think it's a bit subjective. It's almost like coconut. Is it coconut? I don't know. Am I going crazy? Like it feels, it tastes like coconut. coconut, coconut, coconut. coconut. 
I don't know whether they got add like coconut cream or something. The coconut nut is a big big nut. Uh, but the meat, the meat is nice. The soup body is good. But yeah, I think this one is a bit of a personal preference. Uh. My, personally not my taste profile. Uh, okay, I'm gonna move on to the dry pakote. This one looks a lot more promising. I don't know why lah. Like, there's two pieces of lady's finger <laughs> inside. Wow, this one the yu yu flavor is even stronger. Okay, but it's a bit spicy though. Yeah, but the meat is very good. The flavoring is also a bit sweet, but this one has is sweet and then spicy, but then also very savory umami. So it's quite a wide range of flavors, but it's a bit too spicy for me. Yoaimono wa minikui. But definitely the, the sauce is a lot thicker, sweeter. It's very powerful, like. There's a lot of things going on here. There's a lot of flavor. So the meat falls off the bone, so that's a, that's a good sign for me. Okay, but I will give Liang, Liang Ti a 4. It's still good, but the flavor of the soup is not my preference. I can see some people like it, la, but like, it's a bit weird. La. It's just, I don't know, is it coconut? Leave a comment if you know what's inside, but to me, it tastes like coconut for some reason. Very odd creaminess that you don't normally associate with herbal bakute. This comes to the end of our herbal bakute episode. So we're gonna pop back in the car to uh, talk about everything and summarize. Okay, shoom, shoom. Okay, so we have come to the end of this episode of Food Finders where we search for the best Malaysian pakote. What's your favourite? Chia Bing one. For me, everything is like quite on point. Like even the dry one also. Like. Uh, yeah, I think that was one of my favourites as well. So I would say second runner-up would be Feng Xiang. It's pretty decent as well. Although I didn't really like the dry pakote. The fried porridge and the, the soup version was pretty good. How do you, how do you all find the Liang Ki one? Overall, it's a two. Flavorful? Too flavorful. <laughs> uh, Liang Ki was a bit surprising for me though, because like the soup had this bit funky flavor. I think it might be from the fats, like a lot of the, the pork fat like melted in, but like it had this coconut ish flavor. It's very creamy, um, but not necessarily something that I prefer. La. But I, I did like the dry one though, like the dry pak de and Liang Ki was not bad. It's a bit spicy, but it's quite flavorful. So I would say like each place got a few dishes that are good, and then there are some that not good but overall was not bad actually like on hindsight i would you know like after you try everything right like i would i would lower liang ki a bit more i would say liang ki is like 3.5 okay but i will give liang, liang ki 3.5 then then again like when you talk about uh hong ji it seems pretty normal now because like the rest got like dry bakote there's like you know different different things but hong ji is uh, it's a bit limited on what they serve uh the portions also, you know, not super generous. Huh? The rest of places, like, I, I feel like the meat portions were quite generous. Okay, let's go through some comments. Need more Eugene. Great video, nevertheless. Ni wei ni shi mei shi jia ma? Megren de kou gan shi bu yang de lei. Bu, dot dot dot, crying face, crying face, crying face. I mean, I, I agree lah. Megren de kou gan, or the taste buds is all different. You know, this is, of course, my own opinion and uh, what I recommend or what I don't recommend. Singapore so small. East and West miles apart, man. Yes. It is literally miles apart. Okay, it's not super far apart, lah, but still, normally you won't go all the way to like the other end of Singapore to eat. Lah. So that's why we, a lot of our videos we do it in a like by area. Finally, a proper food video, unlike the majority of sponsored nonsense that just point at the food and give thumbs up. Appreciate honest critique that tells me what actually good or can be improved about a particular dish. Okay, cool. So, I mean, thanks to this comment. I think it's a great encouragement. <laughs> You know, also thanks to the comments that actually give suggestions on what we can try. Uh, oh, but at least there's not much comments about my hair anymore. So good job, guys. This comes to the end of the video. Do like and subscribe to our channel to see more food finders uh, in the future. I think we want to head to the north. So if you have any recommendations for north side, leave us a comment. And thanks again for watching. Do like and subscribe. Bye! <laughs>